G'day folks, Rod from My Water Filter here today. And what we're doing is having a look at the HPF, High Performance Filtration, 20 inch by 4.5 inch twin big blue whole house water filter. Now, this is a beauty. It's uh, got two housings on it and uh, that's what we like. It's a good quality, solid filtration system. Been around for decades, gonna be around for decades to come. All right, so you can have confidence that it's uh, a beauty got the Australian watermark on it, so people have looked at it, tested it, checked it out by our authorities, and they're happy it's fit and good to use for our high water pressures here in Australia. Now, uh, what I like here about this product is that uh, she's strong, it's all fixed together, it's all ready to go. You basically get it home to your house and you're good to go to set it up, all right? A couple of screws or bolts through the holes here and it's fixed on the wall and you're good to go, okay? Um, what it does have is a little bag that comes with the product. And there's a couple of plugs in there because in the top of the system here, there's two plug holes and they're for the gauges. So if you're interested in gauges, grab the drop down box above, grab a couple of gauges and put in there. If you don't want the gauges, the plugs come with the system. You'll just put those plugs in there with a bit of thread tape, block them up and you'll be good to go. System sealed, okay? We've also got a uh, housing tool that comes with it. That's a beauty, good rock solid. This goes up from the bottom, take the housings off whenever it's time to change the cartridges and you'll be good to go. It has the full instructions and the lifetime warranty for the system and uh, it's all in the box there ready. Take a look at that, show it to your plumber, whoever might be working on it. It'd be great for them to have a bit of an overview of what's going on, okay? Um, as I said, fully watermarked and then the cartridges or NSF certified cartridges and uh, they are a Taiwan brand but as I said, manufactured, created here in Australia, okay? Now with the cartridges, same thing. You can have a look at the cartridge, see what's suitable for your application, for your water type, and then just click on the drop down box above. Um, how we prefer people to be installing, setting these systems up is housing number one, is there to block and stop any dirt and sediment, lumps and bumps, sand, clay, silt that might be in the water, all right? And as you can see here on the right hand side, these are our choice sediment cartridges and uh, they work very, very well and been tested over many years. So this pleated sediment cartridge, as it's got the pleats on it, big zigzag pattern, designed for high holding capacity of dirt and sand and lumps and bumps and sediments from the water tank or the bore water, whatever it might be. And these can be taken out and given a gentle hose off as required and then you can obviously put it back into the system here and life goes on, we keep on rolling. This one here is a uh, poly spun sediment cartridge. So more use in the capital cities, okay? Plenty of uh, dirt and sand and fine silty clay uh, in our capital city water as well. Uh, generally very fine. So that's why we prefer to go with the poly spun sediment cartridge here and it can load up and uh, that'll get rid of that sediment for you on the city application, okay? So rainwater, I'd be looking at a pleated. On the city, we'd be looking at a poly spun into position one here to remove all of the sediments before the water flows into the special cartridge, specialty cartridge here in position two. Obviously, these specialty cartridges are a lot more expensive than a sediment. So good idea to have a sediment there to allow the secondary specialty cartridge to do what it needs to do, okay? So. Rainwater, things like that, we'd get depleted, we'd put it in position one. And on saying that, if you've just got quite sedimenty water and you just want to stop the dirt in it, you can put a sediment cartridge in position one, you can put a poly spun cartridge in position two, okay? And then you'll be rinsing and washing off the first cartridge and that'll give you a real barrier to sediment if that's what your problem is. Sediments can be hard to stop, but that will certainly put a barrier in between them, no doubt about it, okay? Flowing on from there and we want to start using some carbon, but we're still on the land on the farm where we we'll still be using the pleated cartridge. This first one here is a low pressure drop carbon cartridge, okay? So it's about 20 micron. So uh, if you just want to uh, improve the taste of the water on a rainwater tank, a uh, bit, bit of herbicide, pesticide out, something like that, then this 20 micron's a pretty good one because there's not a lot of resistance and the water can flow through uh, a lot more easier than say a 0.5, okay? So the 20, uh, micron low pressure drop is a good one there and it will taste, make the water nice and tasty. This cartridge here is a bacteriostatic. It's down to five micron from the 20 
and the water still flows through these. Don't get me wrong, five microns, the most common so, uh, micron cartridge that we would be selling for whole house systems. Uh, this bacteriostatic cartridge here is designed so that bacteria is not growing in the cartridge if there's bacteria in the water. Obviously in the, in the city, you've got the government chlorinated water, shouldn't be too much bacteria there because we've got so much chlorine. But uh, these bacteriostatics are beauties, they're just a step up from the normal chlorine one and you can use this 5 micron on a rainwater tank if you've got UV after it. So just note that these two cartridges here are the same, these bacteriostatics, one's 5 micron, one's 0.5. So if you have a UV system, you need to get the uh, sediment and dirt and debris out of the water down to 5 microns so that the UV can work. So if you've got a UV light, you want to put a twin system in front of it like this. I'd do the same as we do with our whole house UV systems with a 5 micron pleated and then a 5 micron bacteria static and then the UV. If you're not using a UV, I wouldn't rely on a 5 micron, I'd be dropping down to the 0.5 so I can stop the bugs, stop the giardias, stop their eggs, okay? So if you've got no UV and you want to give it your best shot, then you'd be looking at a 0.5 micron bacteriostatic, okay? Moving out of the country and uh, maybe back into the cities on government chlorinated water and things like that, West Australia, South Australia, this cartridge is very popular, okay? Very, very popular, been using them for years. So we'd use this poly sponge sediment cartridge here in position one, and then we put this carbon block cartridge here in position two. So just note for whole house filtration in the capital cities, I definitely prefer a three, and like a third stage here, okay? Definitely prefer to have three cartridges for a family in a capital city on government chlorinated water. But if it's just uh, you know an elderly couple or a, a small dwelling, just uh, mum and dad or just two people living in a dwelling. You can get away with a twin system like this, uh, but if it's a family and you want to create the best water, then I would have a third stage here, okay? Water's filtered and uh, the best water's created by contact time with the media in these cartridges. So if you only got a twin system like this, then the water just gets one pass through the cartridge because the uh, water covers the outside of the cartridge, the water penetrates through to the centre core and that's when it gets filtered as it penetrates through the cartridge. So if you only got one cartridge, the water gets one pass through the carbon and you'll have X quality, but if you have a second cartridge here, the water does two passes through the carbon and that'll really polish it up and clean it up and give you the best chance you can. But failing that, smaller applications, couple of people in the house, yes, you get away with a twin house like this, whole house system like this, and you can put this carbon cartridge in for West Australia, South Australia, when people are using chlorinated water, okay? On those same places, you can step up here to the lead reduction. This lead reduction cartridge, we expect to be removing some heavy metals as well. So if that's on your mind or you've got an issue there with the heavy metals, lead, you might want to uh, have a look at a lead reduction cartridge instead of the chlorine, same application. Poly spun in number one and this lead one in number two, okay? This red top cartridge is the chloramine cartridge. We're sort of really trying to promote and push these cartridges out to the community nowadays, especially on the east coast of Australia, because they're not just using uh, chl chlorine anymore, okay? West Australia, South Australia still using chlorine, using chloramine a lot on the east coast. So it's handy to uh, yell out to your local shire and just find out what they're putting in your water so you know what you're gonna be trying to remove from the water. It's not that difficult, simple question. Are you using chlorine to sterilize our water? Are you using chloramine to sterilize our water? They'll let you know what's going on and then you can just pick the appropriate cartridge, drop it in here, give us a ring if you want us to help you, help you out in any way. But uh, yeah, the chloramine is uh, something that we need to get people more educated on and trying to step up to those chloramine removal cartridges and see if we can uh, get that nailed for you, okay? So all in all, a great strong system, solid as a rock. The HPA range are really, really good. Um, I'd suggest that uh, the uh, watermark is a big benefit and the NSF certification on the cartridge is a bit benef big benefit to give you confidence that this is all going to be fine and you're going to be uh, purchasing these for the long term, the long run, and not have any issues along the way. So uh, yeah, if we can help in any way, please yell out and let us know. But uh, apart from that, I think you'd be good to go and uh, yell out if we can help you. Thanks very much.